Good morning, lovelies. Today is Thursday, February 2nd. I am Vinicius. And I am Eric. The Armed Service Vocational Aptitude Battery, ASVAB, is the most widely used multiple aptitude test battery in the world. The ASVAB measures your strengths, weaknesses, and potential for future success. ASVAB results are used for entrance into the armed services and can provide valuable career information. Students interested in taking the ASVAB on Friday, March 3rd should sign up in the guidance office. Students are permitted to take the test multiple times. Ninth graders interested in the cosmetology program sign up and guidance to meet the instructors and interest meeting will be held on Tuesday, February 7th during Flex in the cafeteria. Evening high school registration began, began Monday, January 30th and ends today. If you are behind on your credits, this may be your last and only chance to catch up. See your guidance counselor today. Attention juniors, candy donations are needed for sale at Rock and Roll Revival. This is, uh, this is your large fundraiser to fund for your prom. We are asking each junior to provide at least three full-sized individual wrapped uh, candy items. Bring them to G115 at one, at, or A125. Volunteers are also needed for each show. Each time you volunteer, you will be uh, entered into a raffle for a gift card. Attention SGA members, the General Assembly schedule for this Friday has been moved to Monday. See the SGA Google Classroom for details. The Black Excellence Culture Club will be meeting today from 3 to 4 p.m. in the Media Center. Anyone interested in learning about the Black or African American culture, please join us. If you haven't picked up a membership form, please stop by the Media Center to get one. In sports, last night, wrestling t the wrestling team defeated St. Michael's on senior night, 68-6. to six. Congratulations to our senior wrestlers, Mike, my homeboy W, Dion, and Dion, my bad, and managers, my homegirl, Naomi and Tina. Congratulations to them all, and good luck on your future endeavors. Possession of firearms, other weapons, or look-alike weapons such as pellet guns, BB guns, or water guns by any student on school grounds, including in vehicles parked on school property, is strictly forbidden. The school system's prohibition on carrying or possessing a weapon on school property applies to loaded and unloaded weapons. This prohibition applies to weapons contained with automobiles within automobiles as well. It is a serious offense for students to possess any rifle, gun, knife, or deadly weapon of any kind anywhere on school property in Maryland. Offenders face criminal penalties and severe consequences up to and including expulsion. The code of conduct will be applied in all situations involving weapons violations. And that's, and that's all we have for you today, JMB. Have a great day, JMB. <laughs>